Let's chat about multi-detail drawings. So a multi-detail is just when you take several parts and put them on one drawing instead of having separate drawings for each part. So this is an assembly and four detail drawings on one E-size sheet right in front of us here. So this part can easily be one B-size drawing. This one could be a B or C and on and on through each one of these parts. And then of course we have the assembly drawing. So to make these parts and assemble it, you only need one drawing, right? The reason this is handy is that typically today, a lot of drawings are handled as PDFs, even as on the you know, shop floor. People might print them out on copy paper to have a reference, but they typically have a computer where they can zoom in and you know really look at the drawing. So when you're doing this, it's easy enough to just have a big drawing like this and zoom in to what you're looking for instead of flipping pages through a PDF. Uh, another advantage is when you send somebody a PDF of more than one page, you're just hoping that they're going to flip to the second and third page. They're typically going to pay the most attention to the first page. When you do a drawing like this, a multi-detail with everything on one sheet, it also gives you a vision of all the parts and how they work together while you know keeping your eyes in one place. So multi-details are painfully easy to make. Let me show you how real quick. What we're gonna do is just make an E-size drawing. You typically want the biggest sheet size you can get if it's more than a few parts, and you know, it all just depends on the parts. So the first thing I'll do is pull in the assembly, and I'll put it right here in the corner, right? These little blue things, I bring this up, you click it, you go to the eyeball, and it's this one right here, View Origins. You just turn that off, okay? And that those little blue things will go away. So now we'll go hunting for each individual part. There's four parts here and then a couple of purchase parts. So I'm just gonna plop them down, throw some dimensions, put the construction lines in between, and we'll be good for this video. So I'll go to Model View, and I've got all my piece parts in here. My naming scheme is P1, P2, P3, and so on. So I'll start with number one. I'll go ahead and place the part. I'm gonna hit this preview so I can see what I'm doing. And I actually want a top view of that. If I use the size, we'd run out of room pretty quickly. So I'm gonna shrink this down to two to one, okay? So I'll get two views with this part. I'll go to the next part. And I'll go ahead and shrink this one down as well. So now I'm just gonna arrange the parts in the general places that I want to detail them. And to make it look nice, this isn't necessarily a requirement, but I'm gonna go ahead and use sketch and use construction lines to make little boxes to go around each part. Now it helps if you can go with the zones so that when you're looking up places on the part, they all fall within the same zones. If you can't, it's not the end of the world, but just one thing to look out for. So now I'm just going to add a bill of materials for my assembly. It should add in just like it would for a, a normal uh, assembly, except that now you have all the piece parts in the same place. And then I can go ahead and auto balloon my assembly, right? And normally I'd take a few minutes to get all these balloons correct, but it doesn't really matter for us right now. It's enough to know that they're there. And then you just want to go through each part and detail it. So obviously this is the most time consuming part and I won't go through all of it, but all of the dimensions should pop up even though everything's on the same drawing. Now, the last thing I want to say about this, if you did a top down assembly, so you did this uh, assembly without 
basically separate parts. They're all saved internally. This won't work as well because you can't bring the parts in separately. So this works better with a bottom up assembly method. So that's it for multi details. They're great for, you know, PDFs and sharing drawings to keep everything on one piece of, you know, virtual paper. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful.